Tiverton's fire department is turning to technology to make the daunting task of saving lives a little bit easier. The devices help reduce the amount of precious time it takes to restore the oxygen supply to someone who's not breathing. And Tiverton is the first in the state to use them. I would assume reporter Madeline Wright has the story that's new at six. Every year, the Tiverton Fire Department handles dozens of emergencies involving people who aren't breathing. Now a device is making it easier to help these patients. And all you do is you stick it into a person who's not breathing. Daniel Murphy is showing off the Tiverton Fire Department's latest gadget to help people get air after they've stopped breathing. Looking at the camera, at the screen, I just visualize the patient's vocal cords. The device, called a camera laryngoscope, shows paramedics where to put a breathing tube. Visualize it and put it right through the vocal cords, and then I'm in. Anybody that is in a serious situation, respiratory arrest or cardiac arrest, um, the quicker that we can get a breathing tube into them, uh, the better chances of their survival. And the device helps them do just that by taking the guesswork out of giving air. That's the wrong area. I want to aim for my endotracheal tube right in that area there. Regular laryngoscopes like these don't have cameras, meaning there's a chance paramedics might put the breathing tube down the wrong hole, the one leading to the stomach. Every squeeze of this bag is one breath. The device is worth $3,000 a piece, and the department has had two of them since June. Has it been useful so far? Absolutely. I think we've used it a total of three times. It's been in service for maybe two or three weeks now. Seconds count. Um, every time you're not breathing, it, as you, after a certain amount of time, you start to lose brain cells. So it's really important that we're able to oxygenate the patient. The fire department says donations from people who lost loved ones covered most of the cost of the devices. With the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.